Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Stop using these Windows programs right now in 2023. Not just see cleaner, but there's a bunch of them which we're going to be going through in this video. Now, in the comments section, I always ask people what uh, programs they use, and these sort of programs always come up if it's not I, IOBit or C Cleaner or Tune Up and Speed Up uh, by Avast and a bunch of other ones that are out there on the internet. So why am I telling you to stop using them? Because of their unethical marketing. They literally bombard you with false information, make your computer faster and more secure, protect your privacy. And you come down here and it says performance optimizer. When you come down a little bit more, you can see there's a download here it shows you how many people have actually downloaded it. Come down a bit further. And now we've got the Performance Optimizer, all new. C Cleaner 6 with Performance Optimizer, our new patented Performance Optimizer. Freezes unnecessary background activity to boost your PC performance and make it feel brand new all over again. So enjoy all day battery life on the go and enhance gaming experience and more. Now that right there says it all. It really does. And people will believe what this website is saying. You'll get a bunch of people on YouTube and on other websites that are making money from these websites and they will boost uh, the sales by promoting this sort of nonsense right here. This has been going on for many years and it needs to stop. It really does. But driver updater, this is another one that they push on you saying that you need driver updates, you need this, you need that. And uh, you need to use our software. But you can see here, uh, say yes to better visuals, sound, faster downloading and streaming. I mean, how are they going to give you that right there? They can't. And, uh, you know, they don't have to back this up. It's just a load of blurb on a website that's trying to con you into buying their pro version. This is the professional version, not the free version. So when you go along here, you can see here, driver update helps you keep essential parts of your PC experience working as they should by updating outdated drivers. Perfect for gaming. How is that perfect for gaming? It just doesn't make any sense. You've got your PC health check here. They're still not letting off and they're going to keep going until they've got you hooked. So faster computer is another one with a, a little speedo on here. And it just basically tells you that is your computer running slow? As it gets older, it collects unused files, settings, resource hogging applications, and all outdated drivers, which can make it slower and slower. CCleaner will clean all these files up and temporarily freezes apps when you're not using them and updates software drivers to make your PC faster. This is a bold claim and it's absolute nonsense. It really is. It's not going to make your PC faster by updating your drivers. Also, people fall for this sort of stuff all the time because when they're surfing the web for my PC is running slow, they'll stumble on stuff like this. And it's just a load of blurb on here about some other stuff they can offer. We have another one here by another company, which is a antivirus company. And again, antivirus companies are jumping on the bandwagon as well because there's money to be made. And again, Cleaner One Pro for Windows. Your PC cleaner, faster and safer. And they'll go through the same spiel. And it's all the same stuff. Running on low disk space, PC running slow, turbo booster, optimize your PC. You know, all this sort of stuff. You can read it on here. Scan your PC. Is your PC running slow? Is it sluggish? All that sort of stuff. Improve performance and responsiveness with turbo booster. Speed up your PC. Turbocharge your PC, maximum PC performance. This is what it's all about. It's all just trying to pull you in and make you feel that you're getting something uh, which you're not. You can see here, flash sale, get a discounted price here. And again, up to 75% faster cleaners, uh, super fast one-click optimization and things like that. So you can see it's just the same old stuff that they go through here to try and pull you in. And uh, it's basically talking about optimization, performance boosting, cleaning out junk files, you know, all this sort of stuff. Also security and privacy. And they talk about on here 
the um, you know telemetry side of things and Win Optimizer 25 puts the stop to this. And it also talks about let Win Optimizer clean, optimize, and protect your machine and enjoy fast, lean, and secure uh, Windows PC with intact privacy permanently. This is what they're talking about. And also Avast is jumped on the bandwagon as well. And this is another antivirus company that has uh, decided to go down the clean up, tune up, speed up sort of route, uh, high performance PC boost in and all that sort of stuff um, they're talking about here. You can get a free version, but there will be some premium uh, programs in there that you're going to have to buy to use. And this is how they suck you in. You can see here, speed up and revive your PC, give your PC a proper cleanup, fix PC problems, all that sort of stuff. Update your programs automatically. Quite a few different things here. You know, they're talking about speed up, tune up and revive your PC, give your PC a proper cleanup, remove bloatware and forgotten programs, uh, defrags and optimizes your hard disk. Windows does all this sort of stuff as well. Put apps to sleep and a bunch of other stuff. You can do this on Windows, you know, free up space, nuke unwanted plugins and toolbars, and clean up your browser. Fix your PC problems. Okay, let's take a look at advanced system care. Now, this one says always maintain a fast, clean, secure, and stable system, deep scans and clean system logs, temporary files, and invalid registry entries. So this is basically what they're going to say it does, and it will also boost your PC, as you can see here, 200% faster startup. That's a bold claim right there. Um, and also 100% safer surfing experience. They do love these big figures because that's what people look for when they're looking on websites. And of course, they get sucked into it. This is what they are. Let's take a look at one of them here. So this one here is called uh, Cleaner One Pro. This is by Trend Micro. And again, all, all you're getting is a fancy program that has a lovely GUI interface that looks pretty nice. And when you go through here, it's just going to give you a smart scan here. So you can just go a smart scan. It's got this lovely cleaning icon here going around, sweeping away all of the rubbish that will make your system super duper fast, 200% faster, of course. And, uh, you know, give you that extra FPS and that extra boost when you're using your computer. Of course, it's not going to do any of that stuff. All it's going to do is clean out uh, old junk from the PC, which Windows will do uh, with the built in program. And uh, I'll skip to the next step here. And it's scanning the registry and it's now scanning for security issues. And this is what it's going to do here. You can see here. 171.20 gigabytes of junk files and there's a little yeah or orange exclamation mark there and if you go through here duplicate files found 228.43 gigabytes and there we go 593.52 gigabytes of big files found so what you can do here is you can click on this here and this will tell you exactly where all of this um, stuff is hidden. And if you look here, uh, temporary internet files, 2.21 gigabytes. And if you open this up, it's just going to say you memory dumps and temporary files. And of course, going along right here, we have these megabytes. This is system cache, 255 megabytes of system cache. This is not going to affect the PC in any way, shape or form. Most of this, this is Defender Update Backup Cache. And all that is, is 239.41 megabytes, which is a big chunk of this. So all the rest is just little signy log files, Icon Cache, which is nothing here, and Fun Cache, which you can literally, and Font Cache here, just these small little ones here, as if these are going to boost your PC by cleaning these. They're not going to do anything. It's just nonsense. And again, you can go through here with your browser and work out your browser and work out what is taking up your space here. And again, let's have a look here. I'm just going through here. This is where all of my uh, stuff is coming from in my downloads folder. And this is common. People don't delete the stuff in their downloads folder. And this is where I have 149 gigabytes of data in there. It's stuff I've been downloading and stuff I've been using 
Uh, and, you know, I use still go there. I'd rather than download it again. I go straight in the downloads folder and literally uh, pull something out of there or I re-download it. It really doesn't make no difference. They're just ISO files and things like that. That's all they are. So I'm not really too worried about any of this sort of stuff. Cycle bin, it's got 16 gigabytes in there. And uh, basically, I can empty that out at any time. I'd sometimes keep this as a little bit of a, in case I delete something by accident, I can go back in there and pull it back out. But yeah, you can clean this uh, and it will show you what's in there by clicking this. Nothing too crazy. So that is the actual cleanup of the junk area here. I already knew there was loads of stuff in the download section, but I don't want to download some of this uh, stuff again. And it's here, some of this stuff I use like Android 12, and Orange Pie, uh, Medicat, and a bunch of other stuff I've been downloading for testing purposes. So I don't really sort of need to want to delete that. And there's some uh, ISOs inside here, which I use, which are Windows 10. But if I deleted these, it wouldn't really uh, bother me too much uh, because I can re-download them. They're free to download. So this is not really doing anything for my system so far. Let's move on to the uh, registry here. And as you can see in the registry section, it's just going to remove a bunch of registry stuff here that is not being used. Obsolete software 11. So if you go here, it's just going to tell you some of the software that you've uninstalled on your system, like Norton and uh, IOMI and a bunch of other stuff on here, which is stuff that I'm not using anymore. And it's been uninstalled. So they'll just uh, remove this obsolete software area and uh, this will just clean it out. These are just cached files. They're not going to cause any problems to your system. Icons. And you can see, if you understand what Windows is, this will not speed up your PC by deleting any of this stuff. This is not affecting the running of your PC. Duplicate files. Again, you would have to unlock this area to clean this area here. This is to say that you've got duplicate files on your system. Now, I know I've downloaded loads of Windows 10s, as you can see here, and I can go in there and delete these manually, but it wants you to pay for this. When you click Unlock, it will take you to a paid page, and it wants you to pay. That's exactly how they get you. This is how they, and it gives you a little 50% off here, and it's basically trying to pull you in to make you buy their premium service, which is you'll get extra uh, find and delete unneeded registry keys, uh, duplicate files. There's free programs out there that does all this stuff. App Manager, you can uninstall these from uh, Windows. Similar photos and premium support. You'll get support by their company. And that is it, really. But going into other areas of your system, this is just your apps. This is apps installed on your PC. And again, you can update these. Uh, these are your apps. You can go in here and uninstall them from here if you wish. You can do that in Windows. Just gives you a much more nicer GUI with this program. That's all it is. Turbo Booster, again, you can see here, this is just turning off programs, turning on and off startup programs in your startup. That's in Task Manager. Uh, you don't need to do that task uh, scheduler here. And you can see Context Menu. Memory booster. A bunch of stuff here. So this is what these programs are really. And uh, again, if you are looking to some to use some of this stuff. So if you think that this is going to make your PC faster, by all means, go and spend your hard earned cash on something like this and and use it because it's not going to do anything. And uh, again, and when you clean these out, it will always find more registry files. They'll be just little, small, little, tiny things like cache files. It'll always want to clear that icon cache and uh, stuff like that as well, font cache. It's always going to want to clean those because that's part of what this tool does. So this looks pretty impressive, but I know exactly why, because them files are in that location. Now, they're all the same as this. This is exactly what all the other programs will do. So stop using these programs in 2023. Uh, they're not worth it. You're just going to basically get sucked in. You can go into Windows, and we all know Windows has built-in uh, programs that will clean 
your PC for you, just like this. Nice GUI interface here on Windows 11. It will do all the same sort of thing for you, clear out all your rubbish for you. You can get the option to clear out, you know, a Windows download folders area here. I can down delete all this as well. As you can see here, recycle bin I can do. I can do it all through Windows. Don't need to use third party software to do that and pay for the privilege. It's built into Windows. It has always been built into Windows. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out and gets the point across for what this video is about. Don't fall for these uh, particular types of uh, unethical marketing scams that try to get you to buy stuff that you don't need. You don't need this sort of stuff. So I hope this video has been some sort of use. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.